Now, a large problem that I see with a lot of martial artists is that they learn how to throw the sidekick from here all the time. Whether it's step up sidekick as it's called, step up sidekick, step behind sidekick, slide, whatever the technique is, they stand completely sideways to throw the sidekick. If you get used to that, and then you have to be somewhat angled to your opponent or be forward when you throw the punches, how you gonna throw the sidekick is the only way neurologically you know how to throw the sidekick is from here. Okay, so in your mind, I either come here to throw a powerful sidekick or I come here to throw punches and maybe a front kick or something like that. Okay? So you have to learn to throw a sidekick from this stance. Okay, because if you're gonna go from this stance, you're gonna have to either follow that sidekick up with a back fist or maybe a hammer fist. Okay, the rear leg cannot reach very well from here, from this stance. It really cannot. So the sidekick needs to drop here with that rear hand to reach. Okay? However, if you're used to fighting from here, that sidekick will come up, you will bring it back down here. Neurologically, it's very difficult to start from here, throw that kick, and then come here. Okay? And then start from here again. So you have to learn how to throw your kicks from the punching position. You have to learn how to throw from punching position. It doesn't matter if it's from doesn't matter if it's from a rear hand, doesn't matter if it's from the front hand, but you have to learn how to get back into the hand striking position and you have to know how to get out of it. Okay? Explode from it and come back to it. Now to be able to throw your sidekick following the hand techniques, not only you have to be able to do it from the hand striking position, okay? Not only that, you have to be able to do it from the weight on a front leg position. Okay, there's a difference. Okay, here I'm prepared, here I'm prepared to use my hands. Okay? So here I'm prepared. That's one thing. The other, of course, is once the punches are thrown, the weight is on the front leg. Okay, you have to be able to get that leg under you, bring the weight over it and quickly go forward with the mass on the kick. Okay? So the basic drills of course you want to fight and stand, shift the weight forward without the punches yet. Rotate and as you rotate the weight goes on this leg. It's not one, two. It's boom. The second you rotate and bring this leg in Okay, the weight goes right over it, knee comes up and you go into the kick, okay? So that's something that has to be practiced. You can practice it against the wall, you can practice it in front of a mill, you can do it uh, against the target, okay? So, let's say I'm doing it against the wall, I'm here, okay, I know I can punch from here, okay? Same thing on that side. Once you can do that, you would add the punch. Rear or front hand. Okay. Well, let's say I'm doing the same thing with the front hand. Okay. Now we can take that a step further and take a stance that obviously favors the weight on the front leg, the front stance. Okay. So here we are in the front stance. Okay. And you want to be able to throw a sidekick with the front leg. Okay. Before you do that, you have to know where your target is. Okay. Once this leg turns here, you have to realize that the target is in this line. It's not lined up with the front leg. It's lined up with the rear hip. Okay? So here, 
I know that in my mind the target is right here. This is where my front leg is, this is where my target is. Okay, I don't try to strike this target. It's over. Okay, so leg turns, throw the kick, come back in the front stance. Turns, throw the kick, come back in the front stance. Okay? If you can do it in the front, from a front stance, especially a very deep front stance, where you have a lot of weight on this leg, you know that you'll be able to inspire doing the punches with a way to stretch it forward, throw that side kick. Okay? So basically that's how you train for it. You learn to throw the side kick from a punching stance. And for people that are concerned specifically about the street situations or self-defense situations, for instance, you saw a palm strike on the street, you can go to that side kick to the knee and then come back. Okay? Or so maybe multiple side kick, putting the leg down, not putting the leg down, and then come back. And the last thing is expectations. Whenever you come in with a surprise technique that your opponent does not expect, once again, on the street, in a ring, you never know if someone on the street is trained or not. Most people expect from up close, you're going to punch, you're going to follow up with a roundhouse kick, front leg, straight or shuffle, or you're going to punch and you're going to follow up with a real leg roundhouse kick. Very often people do not expect that you're going to throw multiple punches and then throw a psychic right from there. Okay, so just that, just that, if it's not in their game plan, let's say you're in the ring, it's not in their game plan, they keep getting hit with that psychic that they don't expect, after a while, throwing a couple of punches, going like this, something's going to happen, they're going to drop their hand, they're going to move back, and that's going to give you an opportunity either to take them down or to throw another strike or to create another opening, okay? So it's always good to, to be able to do something that's not usually done, okay? Thank you for watching.
אחד.